Hello and welcome to Infinity. Here's an effect that you can create that is results in a kind of stark, high contrast image, kind of low color, and very, very simple and quick to do. So I'm going to start off, I'm going to put in curves, and I'm going to take that one, hit Control J to duplicate it. So I've got two, let's get rid of this at the moment, and call one of those lights. And the other one darks. Right. Now I'm just going to take start with the lights and pull it up. So it goes light. And here I'm putting light into things, but it's kind of a, a little bit on the you know pushing lights and things. So I'm going to use down here the blend ranges, also blend options, cogwheel. I'm going to turn that and to emphasize the lights and pull down the blacks, I'm going to pull this down. This does pull down the lights a little bit. We can kind of compensate to take off the linear so I can do a curve. Then I just do an S curve. So I'm going to pull this down up here and pull this down here. To make it kind of balanced, I've got it going through the middle. You don't have to do that. But you can see already the effect before and after. So I'm going to do the reverse with the darks. So now I just pull this down. You can pull it down quite a long way. So I'm going to keep the darks here on the right hand graph here, which uses the underlying composition. So this is the one you normally use with adjustments. And I'm going to bump up the blacks and pull down the lights and check the linear to make it a smooth curve. I can kind of play around with this just to keep it smooth. If any of these is a little bit too much, you can always just take the opacity and can nudge it down a bit to something that suits you. So there are many ways of adjusting it. You could also pull the curve differently. So I could, for example, go, well, I'm just going to leave the opacity up and adjust it from the darks here. I'm going to change the darkness there. So this does kind of double curves and that you've got the curves and then you've got the blend options on top of that as a, an additional control. One more thing that you can do with this, click on the pixel image and go to adjustments and HSL and that's to push the colors as well. So colors start to dominate here a bit. You know, these things drag your eye. And so just pull the saturation down. Don't get rid of the cut altogether, but make it sort of a a dark colour like that. And now the colours now are not intruding so much, but they're still there. So there you go. Shift click to collect all of them. And before and after. Very easy and very distinctive style. That's it. Thank you very much for watching.